My name is John Keith Barton. And where are you born and when are you born? Greenville, Utah, mm -hmm. March 28, 1929. And tell me about your family background. My family's background? Yeah. Well, my early progenitors were pioneers to this country. Uh huh. And uh, my great grandfather was one of the original settlers of Greenville. So I am a long time native. Mm hmm. What school did you go through? Uh, I started elementary school in Springville and Provo. Then we moved back here to Beaver. Mm hmm. And I attended elementary and high school in Beaver. And then I attended uh, Branch Agricultural College in Cedar. Mm -hmm. Then we had the Korean interruption, and I went back to school there for, uh, I think, one or two semesters after we came home. And um, that was the size of it. I left school and went to work. You said that Many of your classmates went together to Korea. That is correct. How many? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I believe there were 17 that were left here. But I, you can't pin me down on numbers because I do not remember. I, I don't know. So what was your specialty in National Guard? Well, uh, when, after we finished our training up at Fort Lewis, my MOS was a clerk typist, and but I was I worked in the battalion supply section, and uh, drove truck and did clerical work. When did you know that you were going headed to Korea? What were you thinking? <laughs> well, I was working at Geneva Steel at the time they got called up. And I had been in the guard and been discharged. But one of my schoolmates, my buddy, had just got home from a year's service in the Navy. And I came down back home to visit him. And uh, we were, we'd been down to the movie and were coming back to his home. And he said, for 25 cents, I'd go join up with the guard and go with him. And so I gave him 25 cents, and we both went down and signed up again and went. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Ray Pierce. So when did you leave for Korea? Uh, I don't know. He, 19, the date. 19? It is January of 1951. Mm-hmm when we left, when we left Fort Lewis. So you, um, you served in the same unit that uh, Rondo was. Uh, I did. Yeah, what was your w mission? Tell me about the typical day of your mission at the, at, at the time. In Korea? Yeah, in Korea. Kapyeong. Uh. <laughs> what were you doing there? Uh, we were keeping the battalion supplied with food and clothing, bedding. Uh, what do you mean by bedding? Sleeping bags, mm -hmm. blankets, mattresses, cots, all, all that sort of stuff we were responsible for. Mm -hmm. Was it, did you like it? Did I like it? Mm -hmm. uh, I did like it. I liked being with my comrades and my friends, and and I did like it. I was uh, uncomfortable at being there altogether because I just got married in December, and we left in January. Oh. So I was... 
I would have rather been home. What did, what did your wife say to you at the time that you were leaving? Uh, what did she say? I, I can't remember what she said. Hmm. Hurry you back, probably. Mm. <laughs> Did you write a letter back to her? We, we corresponded regularly. Mm. Do you keep that letter now? Matter of fact, she kept the letters. I did not. So she has now? My wife passed away two years ago. Oh, so you lost all the letters? No, I still have them. You still have them? Were there any dangerous moment that you might have lost in your life? Well, yes. At Tell me the, about it. The Cap Young incident. I, I, I really don't have anything to say about it except that the, the powers that be, whatever they are, kind of looked out for us. We were all in it together pretty much, and uh, it was just... Uh, meant to be that none of us got hurt. We all got out of it without without injuries, you know. Mm -hmm. and no losses. It's That's an amazing, amazing thing that happened, yeah. but yeah. I have no answers for it. Did you were there any classmates serving with you there? Yes. How many? Well, all of all of those All of those 17? Yeah, however except the one or two that didn't go with this over there. And I again, I can't tell you the numbers. I know of a couple that didn't go for one reason or another. Their there was... age, age limitations. And uh... You feel safe. You, felt, you must have felt safe because you were with the classmate. It, it gives you a feeling of security. It does, yes. Yeah. Are they still around here? Well, quite a few of them are dead. So there are still about, that I know, there's still four or five of us here. You believe in God, right? Oh, yes, yes. So how do you think, what was God's providence to you that you had to be in the country if Never know, never knew, and you've had to risk your life. How do you see that? I I have no answer for that. Mm. I don't question it. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things. Life is what it is. And these things are uh, presented to you. And I think for some reason, it's a part of your destined development. I don't know. Hmm. How did the, your service in the Korean War affect your life after you returned? <laughs> One thing about it is I've never wanted to travel since then. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You were afraid? No, I just had enough. Oh. Uh, I, I decided that there's a, many, many things in the world to see, but there's really no place to be because it's just different real estate. Mm-hmm. What is the legacy of Korean War? Legacy? Yeah. And uh, your service? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like that uh, we, as a group, uh, had a, a mission that had to be fulfilled for some people's betterment. The Korean people needed help. The United States people said, we'll help you. And we as a group were just the ones that were called to do it. And I, I am proud that I served my country. Mm. Do you, have you been back to Korea? I have not, no. Do you know what happened? Do you know wh how, what is the status of Korea now? Economy, democracy? Oh, yeah, I, I do. I've, you you kind of keep track of things on the TV, you know, in the, in the newspaper. But 
I know that they have uh, made tremendous strides industrially too. Yeah. In car making and uh, I think that there is still really problems over there with North Korea. Yeah. And uh, I don't know that they've ever been really settled, nor whether they ever will be or not. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Jewish situation. Uh Uh-huh. There's just no end to it, it seems like. It goes Mm -hmm. on and on. And uh, I don't know what the reason is. These, These things are beyond me. I don't have the background nor the intelligence to deal with them. (laughs) (laughs) You're very honest, man, straightforward. I really appreciate it. Anything else that you want to add to this interview? No, not unless there's something you want to ask me. Yeah, let me figure it out. (laughs) 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 Do you have grandchildren in the age of high school or the college? I have uh, grandchildren who are, well... One of them is just finishing his internship as a doctor. One of them is an attorney that graduated from Harvard. Uh, Wow. I have, uh, let's see, I have two, I have two grandchildren that are in college now. I have one son who is a, College professor teaches over at Southern Utah University. What does he teach? He teaches communications. Okay. What's his name? What's his name? His name is Matthew. So, uh, let me introduce this. This is my foundation's brochure. It's a Korean War Veterans Digital Memorial Foundation, okay? And my foundation launched the Korean War Veteran Youth Corps last year. It's a group of grandchildren or great-grandchildren in the age of high school or the college of the Korean War Veterans. And I want to activate them so that they can uh, work on your legacy continuously. Would you be... uh, And this year... My foundation will host the second convention of this, Korean War Veteran Youth Corps in Washington, D.C., from July 25th to 28th. Would you be willing to talk to your grandchildren or anybody to come to and join the same group? Would I be willing to talk to them? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Would you? Yes, I certainly would. And there is my contact information, and my foundation covers everything except half of the round trip. So our foundation will cover half of the uh, round trip. You're talking about the cost? Cost, yes. Oh, uh uh-huh. And hotel, meals, and everything is going to be paid by foundation. I just want to create this group so that they can learn from the Korean War and from the history and respect and honor their grandfather's service and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So that's why I created this, and I need more youth so that they can grow out of it. And the first convention topic was what good can come out of Korean War and Korean War veterans' legacy. And obviously it's Korea, Korea, strong economy, free democracy, and I hope that they can work on your legacy, keep on lo- you know, working. So you're, you said that your grand- grandson graduated from Harvard? Well, yes, one of them. And uh, he just graduated from law school? Law school, yeah, he graduated from law school, Harvard. Uh-huh. He had, had his, uh, what, basic education, I guess you'd say, in Brigham Young University and then went to Harvard Law School. But he's, he's practicing in Denver now. Oh. So please talk to your grandchildren, or it doesn't matter, great-great-children or grandchildren, in mm-hmm. the age of high school or the college. Ask them to contact me 
or sunny. Okay, and uh, I want them to be in Washington, D.C. We're going to go to Pentagon. We're going to go to National Mall. We're going to have a lot of discussion and good mm -hmm. lectures about it, okay? This, uh, this attorney just finished a, well, not just, a year ago, finished a clerkship in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. He was there with the... Um, what do they call it? <laughs> the oh boy, whatever. Could you ask him to contact me? Uh huh. I okay. can. All right. So what the point was is that he's very well acquainted with Washington. Very good. Yeah. So I need somebody like him, and we can get together, and we still working on your legacy. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Anything else? <laughs> Not unless you have something else you want to know. So you, can you promise me that you're going to talk to them? I will talk to him, yes. Thank you.